Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to, uh, Would You Rather, or either I.O., or whatever you want to call it. I, I know Jacksepticeye has done this one, and he calls it Would You Rather. Um, the site name is actually either.io, um, and the actual game itself you can see on the screen says either. So, uh, yeah, getting this all set up was kind of fun. Um, yeah, that one's already been, been answered. So, I have not answered yet. So, let's see. Um, of course, it's really simple. Just pick which one you would rather. <laughs> All right, so what's the first one? Would you rather be in a car accident that kills only you, or be responsible for a car accident where you live but your five closest friends and family die? Oh, god damn. They started off. They started off harsh. God damn. Um, I honestly, I would rather be in a car accident that only kills me, because then it's only me that dies. Damn, and I'm in the majority, 88%. <laughs> uh, I, and I think I might like these because I don't have to wear the headset for these because there's no audio for it. You know, I could put in some, like, music. I, I can do up, like, like, some loops and fucking uh, Richmick or whatever and just put them in here. <laughs> uh, that would be a little interesting thing there. But, uh, but yeah, I can wear the hat. Uh, would you rather be a Slytherin or be a Gryffindor? I don't, I don't, I don't Harry Potter, so I have to skip that one. Um, would you rather give up Christmas or give up your birthday? Um, let's see. If I give up my birthday, what, what, what was that? What would that entail? I mean, usually by the time you're an adult, most birthdays are given up anyway, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, does does me give up the actual day? Would I give up October fourth altogether? You know, just like October third, I go to sleep and then wake up October fifth. So you know. Um, or give up Christmas, well, technically, that's not as involved, because all you have to do is not celebrate it. Um, and in, in fact, there's been a couple of years where I technically didn't really celebrate it, celebrate it, uh, when I was living in Indy, so, you know, I, well, I guess the most would be, um, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, having, like, a buffet dinner, bu buffet lunch dinner with, uh, Ari and, and his grandparents, uh, that one year. Uh, I don't remember if we did anything the previous year. We didn't do anything like trees or presents or anything. Uh, so, but I, I could give up Christmas a little bit more. Give up your birthday? Really? How are you going to do that? How are you going to give up your birthday? I, I, I still want to know. All right, what's next? Um, would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? <laughs> you know, I think the end result for those are going to be the same. Because if I'm the last human left on Earth... There's nobody to procreate with, unless unless I can somehow adapt and and reproduce asexually. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be that anyway. Uh, 55 to 45 there. 55 with yeah, if you're the last human on Earth. Okay, okay. If you're a female, and you know how to like apply like the the sperm like right up right up into your snatch or whatever, you could reproduce that way, and then you wouldn't be the last human left on Earth. But I'm a dude. I, I I have no idea. I, I couldn't even inc I couldn't incubate a baby. I, I just couldn't do it. Not not necessarily not just because of body, but you know just I, I can't even I couldn't do it. It's just I do not have the technical know-how. <laughs> um, so for me, either one would end up at the same place. Um, would you rather sport a keychain nipple ring or have a wardrobe that is made up of outfits worn by Scooby-Doo characters? Keychain nipple ring. I know some people like nipple rings. That's not for me. I would do that because, at the very least, I, I you know Shaggy's outfit is simple. You know Fred's ascot is kind of cool. You know, although if I ever wanted to dress as Scooby, I'd be naked except for a uh, collar. So maybe you know, or maybe I could dress up as Velma or Daphne. <laughs> ah, that would be an interesting thing. Okay, would you rather be electrocuted every time you swear, or have all profanity censored out on your television? Oh, fuck no. Oh, hell fucking no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 okay. Uh, let's see. How big a shock are we talking? And could I could I South Park it? And, and for those who don't know what I mean, uh, in, in the South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. uncut uh, Cartman actually had it like a V-chip put in his head, and it went haywire at one point, and... And, and uh, he was able to shock other people. He used this to great effect against Saddam Hussein. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and I would say spoilers, but it was but it was released in 1999. I think it's okay. 
Uh, but have all profanity censored out on your television. Wait a minute. I think I see a loophole. On your television. You know, on, on my personal television. I don't own a television. <laughs> so technically that wouldn't work. Because, you know. So, you know what? I would do that because guess what? Ah, loophole! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, loopholes. Okay. Would you rather be near death or hear everything two minutes later? Um, I would not want to hear everything two minutes later by the nature of what I do. Um, I drive a truck. I kind of need to hear everything on the now. Uh, being near death would also be a thing, but trucks are pretty damn loud. And for the most part... It's a lot of visual stuff. You have to have, you know, y'all, obviously you have to be able to hear things too, but, um, but being near deaf may not necessarily be a deal breaker if you can adapt to it, I would think. So I'll go with be near deaf. There we go. Yeah, who would want to hear everything two minutes later? That, that, holy shit, man. Alright, would you rather be malnourished or be obese? We know the answer to that one. Especially since I'm kind of already there. Um, I would rather not be malnourished, though. Because that's, that's even worse. Just no. No, thank you. Uh. Alright, would you rather kill five innocent children yourself if it would end all bloodshed in the Middle East for 25 years, have ongoing wars, terrorism, and fighting in the Middle East? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Um. Let's see. The blood of the innocent for a temporary peace, or perpetual war where even more kids would die. Um. Uh. Can, can, can it. Uh, can it be children that I've never heard of and don't care about? Can we do that? Can it be that? Um. Uh, oh no. But the wars would. Ah! Uh, oh, but then again. Then again, in that 25 years, if all bloodshed is ended for 25 years, perhaps in those 25 years, you could actually come up with a peaceful solution where even after that 25 years is over, they don't have to start it back again. Oh! Oh! That is, that is the thing. Oh, God. Oh! Um. Oh! Ah. Oh god, I, I, I think I'll have to need to the mini at here. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh! Oh! When it's like five compared to potentially millions. Oh! Oh! And 60% 60, 60 of people agree with me. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. Would you rather always disappoint people or always anger people? Um, ah, I'd rather always anger people because at the very least, if they're getting angry at me, that doesn't necessarily mean they're disappointed. I mean, I could be making really hellacious puns all the time and hello truck parking right next to me um, and, and just getting people pissed off that way. At the very least, they'll be pissed off and laughing, so. <laughs> uh. But I would rather not disappoint them. Uh, would you rather win the World Series or win the Super Bowl? Um, neither. Next. Would you rather wear an eye patch or have a peg leg? Hmm. Let's see. I mean, if I'm wearing an eye patch, I can look kind of cool, you know? You know, I have the thing here. Hi, how you doing? Um, I have a peg leg. Depends on what part of my leg is peg. Like, if it's just, like, my lower leg, can it be just, like, my, you know, like, you know, like, below the knee? That way I can still have good mobility for all of that. Um, honestly, I would probably go with the eye patch. It'd be easier to deal with. Um, let's see. Would you rather be Calvin or Hobbes? <laughs> um, I'd rather be Calvin. Kid's got a hell of a good imagination. Um... Would you rather never read another book or never hear another song? Oh no! Oh! 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 
Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, read, never read another book or never hear another song. Um. <sighs> Oh, I love, I like reading, and I like listening. No, wait, wait a minute. Loophole. Audiobook. Audiobooks, motherfucker. So, and I bet you, and I'm betting that those, that, that 82% of people right there are thinking the same thing. Fucking audiobooks. Uh, I'm actually going through the Dune series again. You know, all of them, you know, prequels, sequels, all that. The entire saga. And I'm doing it all in audiobooks. So, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, audiobooks. There you go. Uh, get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet or be bitten once by a black widow spider. Jeebus! Um, and the thing says I'd have an equal chance of dying either way. Um, uh, if it's an equal chance of dying, um, fuck it, I'd rather go with black widow spider. It's at least it's once, it's over. You don't have to get it repeatedly by the hornet. Uh Okay. Uh one thing every morning, would you rather milk yourself or lay an egg? Um You know? I would I would need to milk myself. I would rather milk myself, because that could at least be somewhat pleasurable. Because you I mean, you don't know how the cow feels when you're milking her. You know. She could be enjoying it. You know, that's why she lets you do it, unless you have cold fucking hands. <laughs> um, you know. And more people would want to lay an egg. That also could be a good thing. Um, but I'd rather milk myself. It's I could I could get more pleasure out of that. Uh, would you, would you rather always watch Nicolas Cage movies, or always watch Owen Wilson movies? I would rather watch Nicolas Cage movies! I can't do his voice. Um, I, I have friends who can, but I'm, I'm not quite there yet. Um... Although that does mean I would have to watch the Left Behind remake. Hmm. That'd be good, Anger. It, it would be good fodder. Okay, would you rather be constantly followed by 32 ducks for the rest of your life, or have four meter long arms? <laughs> you know what? I want my attack ducks. I want attack ducks. 32 ducks following me around, doing fuck all whatever. Oh my god. I get, I get flying. They could just fly up on top of the truck while, while I'm going down the highway. Some shit face wants to get in my way. Quack, 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 you know? I'd, I'd have attack ducks. You know? Yeah, like, like holy shit, almost, almost three dozen attack ducks. That would be amazing. I would enjoy that. Uh, would you rather have a real lightsaber or save a random African kid from starvation? Ah. Really? Really? Um, actually, I would go with the African kid. That'd be a little bit better, because that African kid could then potentially go on to creating real lightsabers. And there you go, I'd have the other one too. Loopholes are fun. Let's see, would you rather be Zoidberg or Kith? I don't know enough. So let's see. Um, I already did that one. Um, let's see, would you rather watch a volcano erupt? Or witness a meteor hitting Earth. Um, volcano, simply because it would be a lot more lethal to less people. Um, meteor hitting the Earth, depending on how big it is, it could destroy us all. Just let's not do that. At least not right now. Let's see. I'd rather be a hometown hero or be a sea level celebrity no one really likes. Um. <laughs> Although if you're a C-level celebrity and nobody really likes you, they they are at least giving you the attention and you get the money from it. You know, like some of these like some of these more despicable people you can find on YouTube, you know who you you know who they are. I don't need I don't need to say any names. You know, they get like tons and tons and tons of views, and and they, you know, and I would I would wager that they're hate watchers. People who watch them, everything they do, watch them the fuck up. And then I'll come in and say, Hey, you did this here! Da, 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 da. You know? No, it's just saying. So, um... I could, be, I could do the C-level celebrity nobody really likes, because at the very least, you know what? A view is a view. Ha! Ah! I get that ad revenue either way. <laughs> uh, or whatever else, you know? Because at least that C-level celebrity is working. Um, being a hometown hero, while it's nice, um, eh... I don't know, I kind of, I, I would, you know, does it pay the bills? 
<laughs> I'm being pragmatic there. Okay, let's see. Had to wake up to win everything every day. Uh, would you rather be deeply insulted by a stranger or be slapped across the face? Hmm. I'd rather be slapped. Oh, wow. This <laughs> 50 50. Uh, yeah, I'd rather be slapped. Get it done and over with. I'm wearing contacts, so I don't, it's not like you have to worry about glasses flying off across the room or breaking them or anything. And if one of them ends up falling out, I've got spares. <laughs> so it's it's not too not too horrible. Um, all right, we'll do we'll do a few more, and then I got to get out of here. Uh, would you rather own a pocket-sized giraffe or a pocket-sized elephant? <laughs> okay, okay, pocket giraffe. You know, it has the long neck, but then you have the elephant It'd be a little heavier. It could be a good paperweight, and I'm sure if you like squeeze it gently. It, it'll, 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 and that'd be kind of cool. It'd be like, it'd be like your own little, little, little baby air horn, you know, that you never have to worry about running out of air. And you can feed it and you play with it. So I want, I want, I want the baby air horn. There we go. Baby air horn. Now let's see. Would I rather go to a gunfight with a pellet pistol or a knife fight with a butter knife? Oh. Hmm. My first instinct is to go for pellet pistol, but I also remember my aim is not necessarily the best. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it can, I'm sure I can hit something, but um, but the reason why I bring up the aim is you know you hit somebody in the eye. Oh. <laughs> or you or if you're fighting a dude, hit him in the nuts. Oof, because that can't feel good if you're hitting him with a pellet pistol there. Uh, when I fight with a butter knife, it, oof, you can take you can. Oof. Um, I'll take the butter knife. There we go. All right. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. Would you rather have a cute boyfriend who dated other girls or have a really ugly boyfriend who was loyal? Now, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, they are assuming monogamy here. <laughs> um, because my girlfriend has a cute boyfriend, or at least she thinks I'm cute. I don't, I don't see how. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, she has a cute boyfriend, and I, I, you know, we have that point where we can date other people if we wish, and still stay together, you know? I mean, we're not monogamous. So, so, that, the blue, the blue option, the cute boyfriend who dates other girls, that's not a deal breaker for us, you know? Um, having a really ugly boyfriend who is loyal, I could fit into both categories, honestly. <laughs> um, okay, but if it was me... If it was me, um, considering I've been leaning towards non-monogamy in relationships in general since at least 2012, I could go with that one. Yeah, have a really ugly boyfriend who is loyal. Um, and, and honestly, it's not, it's not even the looks that are really there, it's just like, you know, which one, which one are you more likely to put up with? You know, monogamy or non-monogamy? And, and I, I, hey, I'm not monogamous, so that's fine with me. So, all right. So we're going to leave this right here um, just to say, hey, whatever, you know, and, and all that really good stuff. Ah, uh, lordy, lordy, lordy. So, yeah, if you guys like this, let me know because I'll, I'll gladly do more of these and I have some extra downtime in the truck. Yeah, it's running a little late if the lights changed a little bit too much for everybody's taste. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, this was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I wanted to try and do that and get put out there. And, and hey, you know what? Maybe people will like it anyway. Um... So, yeah, sun's going down. I've got to go. So, at any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care, everybody. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.